So you may have just picked up your Chrome OS type of machine and you might be trying to figure out how you can use it. Now luckily for you, it is a fairly basic process whether you're on the current version of Chrome OS or an older one and I'll go and show you exactly how to use it. Again, it's nothing crazy. If you ever use any sort of laptop, it's completely pretty much the same exact process. So the way it kind of works is on the front, you basically have your desktop experience. As soon as you boot up your you know, specific Chrome OS machine, you will pretty much always have your desktop at the very top like this, and you will also have your status bar at the bottom. So these things pretty much stay consistent. Now, obviously applications will come and kind of overlay on top of this, but this kind of will stay consistent the same way, and this will kind of stay consistent the same way. In fact, unless you're in like some sort of full screen mode, this will always be here. So whether you're in any like application, that will always be there for the most part, which is actually really convenient. Now, the way this kind of works is at the very top right here, you know, with every Chrome OS machine, you'll basically have a keyboard, a camera probably, as well as a trackpad, so keep that in mind. Every Chromebook, every Chrome OS machine is different, so there's no point harping on the one that I specifically own, but again, you have pretty much the keyboard and everything that you might know how to use by now. Now, whenever you move the trackpad, you can go ahead and move your specific, you know, mouse that's on the specific desktop like here. Now, at the very bottom left, this is kind of what we'll start off with. This is almost like a universal search kind of button. So what you can do on here, they call it the launcher. Go and click on the launcher and you can search up just like how they stated here. You can search for devices, you can search for applications, you can search for settings, and you can search on the web as well. So they also tell you to kind of bring this one up like this if you want to. So what you can start off by doing, you know, if you want to go ahead and minimize it, you can just click this minimize button up here and it shouldn't minimize it. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. But essentially what you can do is you can go ahead and just search up whatever you want to. So if I wanted to go ahead and search up, let's say, you know, google.com, what well, I can go and start typing in Google, just like this, and I can just kind of just click enter and it will take me straight into Google and or some settings that it may think that Google is preferred to. So what I can also do is I can click the X button, I'll show you in a second, is go back over here and I can type in like an application like settings if I want to. So I can go and type in settings and it will automatically prompt me to basically bring in settings like that. So again, just like how I showcased before, I can go and click and open up settings just like this and I can go and bring up this application. Now within the settings app, I'll just go and start off with here. You have a few different options that you can go and modify with. So at the very top we have network. These are things like your Wi-Fi connections, you have Bluetooth connections here, you have touchpad, keyboard, your stylus if you have a touch screen. You have a lot of other options down here too, which is really cool. And under advanced, you have a lot more like advanced type of options. Now under Bluetooth, it's pretty much more or less the same. If you have any sort of Bluetooth devices you have connected to, and or if you want to connect like Bluetooth headphones, AirPods, a controller, another keyboard, things like that, well you can go under Bluetooth settings here and you'll basically be able to see all those other options here too, which is cool. Now under device, again, this is basically more or less the same. In fact, this whole device, Bluetooth, all that stuff, is just one big settings panel for the most part, at least for this Chrome OS version. So you can see that right here, you have like the true device, you have a search engine here, you have settings and privacy. So these things are just built in right here, which is kind of funny. And obviously you can go and change your search engine if you want to. So you can go and if you don't want to use you know, Google Chrome anymore, or if you don't want to use Google search, you can go and click configure and you can change it to another one if you want to. So there's a few different options. You can change it from Google. You can change it to Bing. You can change it to Yahoo. I would probably recommend just keeping Google because it just keeps it way, it just keeps things way easier. But it's another one of those options that you have too, which is actually really cool. Now on top of that, we can just go and click done. And pretty much that's really it on this specific panel. Now you have apps here, which just shows you a massive list of all the applications that you have. In this case, we don't have any applications, but if you ever wanted to download any, you can also search for apps via the launcher right here. So if you want to, you can search for your Play Store, which will take you to the Google Play Store. You can download basically any application that you want to, which is really cool. Along that, you can also search up any application names and get a quick Google search of what's going on there. Now, at the very top, we have a few different options. So we have a minimize button here. So what this minimize button will do is it'll just basically minimize that specific application to your bottom bar right there. So like I said, this pretty much stays consistent. That application will just minimize straight into here. So you can just open it up just like how you saw it. Now you can also go ahead and maximize and full screen this application by clicking on the maximize button there. 
Now what that's going to do, just like on basically any other operating system, it's going to go ahead and maximize that window and make it much bigger for the most part. Now if you want to make it smaller, you can also just grab it and just kind of make it smaller like that. You can also grab the sides of, an, of a window like this and hold down and move that specific window like this as well. So you have a few different options there, which is really cool. Now, you can also go ahead and click the exit button here, and that's going to close out of the application completely. Now, you also have a lot of other applications here too, like we have files, for example. This is your like files application, and there's a ton of things here too, so you can always go through and see any audio images or videos that you've seen. Under files, you have like your downloads and all these other things too. Now, if you ever want to pin, and like these things will always stay consistent, but if you ever want to pin an application down here so you don't have to search for it every time, you can just pretty much like double click or like right click almost or like click like this on your trackpad, depending on what type of trackpad you have. And you can just go ahead and pin or unpin that specific you know application there too, which is actually really cool. So you can also make it a new window. So you can open up a new window of that same application as well by clicking right there. So you can have two same windows of that same application, but have separate instances of it too, which is cool. You can click the X button there, click the X button there. And we are about two thirds of the way done with the bottom bar. Like I mentioned, this stuff is kind of basic. Now at the very back, you know, the top, bottom right, you basically have your connection settings and device settings you can go and configure. So before even clicking on it, we have our Wi-Fi connection settings, we have our battery icon, and we have our time. So if you want to look at the time or Wi-Fi or whatever, you can just quickly glance down here and you'll basically be able to see all those specific things. Now you can also click on that application just like this, and you will see a bunch of different quick toggles we can go and configure. So at the very top, you'll have your little user profile. So if you ever want to change your user profile, you can change there. You can also exit the mode you're in now. You have a power button, so if you want to quickly shut down your specific computer, you can just click there. This option right here brings you straight into settings. So just like how we have settings down here, this option will just take you into settings right there. This down arrow will just pretty basically just minimize it down to like the smaller little instance right there. But I typically like it keeping it kind of bigger. Now you also have notifications up here too. So if you want to, you can just see your notifications here. You can swipe them out of the way, or you can click on them too, and that's another option that you have. If it exits out, you can just click on it again. Now here you have your quick toggles, very similar to iPhones and just Androids or really any operating system. You can see your Wi-Fi connection, your Bluetooth. If you have notifications on, you can turn on Do Not Disturb mode as well. Screen capture as well as nightlight as well, which is so cool. Now at the bottom here, you basically have two different other options as well. So here you have your sound. If you want to increase or decrease your sound, you can just grab this specific sound toggle here and make it bigger or smaller. That will increase and or decrease the sound and or the brightness. So if you want to increase the brightness of your machine, you can go and make it brighter like this. Or if you want to decrease the brightness, you can just make it lower like that. And you'll basically have those options there, which is cool. Now you also have very similar to down here, you have your date and time right here as well. And you basically have your manager option there. And you can also go ahead and click on this open toggle and it will actually allow you to edit your audio settings here too. So if you want to, if you have a certain microphone you want to change to as input, or if you want to change your output to like your headphones or something like that, we can go and configure that here too. And that's another really cool option that you have. Now again, if you want to minimize it, you can just click out of here. And that is a quick breakdown of you know Chrome OS. Now a few other things I want to state under settings, if you ever run into any issues or any settings that you want to change, you can always just click on search settings right up there and hopefully you can see it. I think the brightness kind of messed up a little bit, but you can just click on search settings and that will actually allow you to search the settings through that specific application that right there, which is really, really cool. So if you ever run into any issues, just click search settings, type in what you're having the issue with or toggle you're trying to find and you'll basically be able to find it there. But you can also always make your way over to the launcher down here and search up any devices or apps or settings or anything you're trying to look for and you'll basically be able to find it here too. And finally, you can use web browsers like Google Chrome or any other ones that you can use on your machine. And that's another thing you can do there too. So that pretty much covers it up. Hopefully you know Chrome OS by now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.